Hey, I was just on YouTube at the RTB channel and I was looking at some of the comments that were posted there and there's one that's really kind of interesting. It's from, looks like Rotus, and the question is, could Cain's wife have been a Neanderthal or some other Homo sapien aside from a sister? That's really an interesting question. And I believe that Rhodus may be prompted to ask that question because there's a lot of discussion these days about humans and Neanderthals interbreeding with each other. And could this be a way to resolve the question that everybody asks, where did Cain get his wife? And again, a very interesting line of thinking on the part of Rhodus. Uh, but I would actually answer that question no, because even though there's a lot of discussion about humans and Neanderthals interbreeding, in fact, even though uh, people almost take it as orthodoxy now these days, the fact of the matter is there's other studies that have been published that indicate maybe humans and Neanderthals didn't interbreed. In fact, I wrote a, a pretty nice article on our website of some length uh, citing the original scientific literature making the case that maybe humans and Neanderthals didn't breed whatsoever. Just real quickly, one line of evidence that seems to count against that is the growing recognition that humans and Neanderthals may not have coexisted in Europe and maybe even in the Middle East, even though, again, that's the common view because people have thought, well, maybe humans and Neanderthals coexisted for up to 10,000 years, not only in the Middle East, but in Europe. But it turns out that some recent studies indicate that Neanderthals probably went extinct far sooner than anybody had thought. In fact, before humans made their way into Europe, and made their way into Spain and Portugal, and it could very well be that Neanderthals were extinct before humans even made their way into the Middle East. And if that's the case, then that means that there's no way that humans and Neanderthals could interbreed. But there's a lot more to that argument. If you go to our website at reasons.org and look up uh, uh, the article that I wrote, you just search, uh, did humans and Neanderthals interbreed? And I'm certain you'll find that article without any kind of trouble. Now, the question then becomes, well, where did Cain get his wife? Well, it's interesting because Genesis 5-4 said Adam and, Eve had, sorry, Adam and Eve had many sons and daughters. And uh, th that to me is kind of interesting because it says that there were a lot of brothers and sisters that Seth and, and Cain and Abel had. It wasn't just those three sons that Adam and Eve gave birth to. They gave birth to a lot of children. And those children, in turn, could have... Uh, you know, married each other and had uh, children themselves. And so by the time Cain was moving away, looking for a wife, uh, he very well could have married somebody he was related to, but it may not have been a sister. It could have been a niece or a grandniece or what have you. But it was somebody that he was clearly related to that was from Adam and Eve's lineage, but it doesn't have to necessarily be his sister. And I think that passage, Genesis 5-4, really resolves the question, where did Cain get his wife? There were a lot of humans on the planet at the time that Cain and Abel and Seth lived.